Ooh, what's up, guys? This is the Brofman, and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Dead of War. Let's play the Kingdom of Mysore. And in this episode, what we have been fighting for for many, many weeks and months is about to finally come to fruition. The final destruction of the Russian Empire, the capture of their last city, and then the beginning of a new phase of our campaign. But first, before we get too, uh, too obsessed with what's on the horizon, let's destroy this last Russian army. We've got a good force that's ready to push in and kick their backsides. Then we have to take the likes of Württemberg, Britain and also Portugal. Uh, but we will do those while we kick off our offensive also in the West. In the Americas. Because I'm pretty sure the 13 colonies are still allied with Britain. And we, it remains to be seen if they will try and save Britain. Um, but if they do... That's when our uh, assault against the 13 colonies holdings will begin. Hmm. So let's form Grand Battery on the right flank. They are free to engage whatever targets they wish. Let's form our musket line. We will push out Beadley out of the town. Mercenaries can try and hold the right flank. Got a contingent of melee troops in the town, a contingent of melee troops on the left. Bulk of my cavalry out on the left, plus my elephants. First of all, let's. Oh, they have formed a defensive gun line. Shrapnel shot is off we push up <clears throat> sorry just a second we have to push up at speed Dervishes jump on the Cossacks. This will let everyone else continue. We'll actually have fire superiority on the right flank. Yeah, but they can blast us with shrapnel as much as they like. We do not care. Let's send a Sipahi unit wide to skirmish with their general. There goes their Cossack unit. They've been shattered, which is exactly what I wanted to see. Swordsmen and dervishes. Get wide. Just let my infantry open up with musket fire. This will cause them to retreat. We will push them back with musketry. Okay, let's begin to get my artillery to engage their infantry proper. Let's begin pushing my infantry around on the flanks. General's bodyguard avoid the stakes. It looks like they do want to commit. Let's put a more acute angle on that flanking fire. Dragoons are oh well, they're hopping off in this fight. Big mistake. Large push in the front. But that's been rebuffed. We're gonna want to make sure our cavalry keeps moving.
with my infantry in around the flanks. Let's try and interdict them as they retreat. Okay, their, their left, their right flank has entirely crumbled. It looks like it's coming back. Right, yeah, there's quick climb coming in from their mortar infantry. I wanted to push through the general and instead shatter their infantry units. General's routing. Let's see if continue continue the attack. There's going to be some friendly fire here, but that's okay. Send my melee infantry along to help with the pursuit. Actually, you no. Know, chase after the seventh. They're up front. Our musketry is doing great in the centre. Push up. Excellent. Just pursue and destroy. I do not care about friendly fire, although they are about to collapse. The last units have been broken. Yeah, we've just surrounded and destroyed them. There's nothing they can do. Quick and clean. Quick and clean indeed. Nice, nice, nice. So there goes Archangelsk. And with it, the last of the Russian army. So now all of Moscow is secure. Kazan. You, you can leave. You can go up to St. Petersburg. Force at Comey is fine. You can also push. But let's keep going for... Let's go for sixth rate so they can probably go a bit further. That's a whole bunch of them recruited. We've still got action around Württemberg we need to resolve. And also Britain. I might actually get the ball rolling on fighting or declaring war on Britain. Let's send... Declare war. 13 colonies in Portugal. Portugal owns Malta. Excellent. Let's begin to blockade... Let's dump these two armies off the coast, because I can send a sixth rate to occupy Newcastle. And this ship have a look at what goes on around here. The west coast of Britain. There's two first rates there, let's block them. Let's send another sixth rate around to Glasgow. We'll get an eyes on if there's anyone in Liverpool. Okay, let's bring up, first of all, what ships do we want to move to maintain, to maintain the blockade of the, Medi of the Mediterranean? You can hold it. Let's bring you guys. Oh, there are people in Liverpool. Let's have a look. There's no one at Bristol. Well, there's no ships at Bristol. Uh, Wardsford is unprotected. Ha! <laughs> These armies may well not be long for the chop, for the table rather, because there is a whole bunch of, there's a lot of British troops around. But what we will want to do, I mean, I can. Hmm. What's the right way to do it? I think we're going to dump you guys. Two armies are going to go for Dublin. Just enough to get them out. And then come back to Brest. Pick up another army. And then you can pick up this force. 
and reinforce our bridgehead. New just blockade Bristol. I mean, Dublin's really ripe for the taking. That army's a bit pants because there's lots of irregulars, which will get quite nicely swept away. This army's a bit... It is a lot better, actually. There's a lot more elites in it. But before we forget, let's make sure we... We also kick off our push against the 13 colonies. I didn't mean the dark, I meant you. Where's the 13 colonies? Navy. But I'm more interested in raiding rather than directly engaging their navy because we ultimately we're at the point where that doesn't really matter. I mean, that's protected. Right, let's also take. You move everyone out. New men and Go for Rupert's land. There's no one in the port. On you go. Oh, there is a navy here. Okay, deposit your troops. You are not long for this world because you will get wiped out by Black Prince, Good Hope, and Royal Oak. Those are some good ship names. But you may as well try to take them out yourself and do a bit of damage. Ah, didn't manage to sink any ships, even though one of them is pretty knackered. One army there is fine. Let's bring up a Shebek. So I want to deploy two armies at Rupert's Land. Because one will then push towards Four Salt St. Marie, one can push east towards Quebec, and another will end up landing at York Factory. Just go to the same fate, just do damage. Finally knocked one out. Yeah, that four freight was gone. You chaps wait in Newfoundland. So you are sieging Angvikduk, doing a bit of damage. Yeah, fleet's destroyed, that is fine. Sevramorsk build a sloop. Bring these guys over to preferably someone with infantry. There we go. Over to Antwerp for repair. Yeah, if we can knock out Dublin, secure this territory, that'd be quite good. It'll also hold, it'll cause them to hold troops in um, Scotland and not just march south to immediately swamp all these guys. Your Majesty. I mean, I may even try to deploy a fourth army because if they moved, if they moved to squash us, they could just they could just wipe out all of those armies in one go. So let's let's double down. Let's make it that much harder for them to take us out. They should knee-jerk reaction garrison London at the very least. Combine the ships, get them into port. Although actually a lot of these can go east. Okay, good stuff. This global trading company 
he got a lot of ships. They will also head towards St. Petersburg. Let's not build too many more ships. Right, let's... Yeah, your, yeah, your resistance to foreign occupation is going down. We are slowly converting the people. Um, but let's yes, go... Pick your right. First of all, you have to leave your port. I think we have to advance into range and see how they respond. They don't want to go for us. That's interesting. Okay. We're going to go for Dublin. These two reinforcing armies here are just individual units. That's fine. We need to destroy the first, this first force. And then there's a set of reinf uh, reinforcements that are stronger coming in afterwards. And we may actually be defensive and use our overwhelming artillery advantage across the board to destroy them. So let's let's do that. We're going to sit back, use our artillery, force them to come towards us, and then we'll destroy them. We particularly want to maintain our force because the second army coming in is actually the stronger one of the two. So we're not going to want to necessarily uh, get wiped out defending or destroying the first army. We do have another reinforcing army, but want to keep that in good condition uh, to push north and mop up anyone who's left. Fighting over the town? I don't think so. Fighting over the hill? Very enticing, but awkward because the enemy reinforcements will come should come in from over here. So I will favour here more than anywhere else. So I'm going to deploy deploy with two guns facing directly ahead of us. Deploy three Hindu musketeers on the right. Actually, it should do it from this way. Three on the right, two on the left. Got a lot of cavalry. A lot of melee troops and a lot of artillery we haven't yet committed. So even though we are the attackers, I think they will be forced to come to us. Although, actually, that now they've, de they've deployed so far away, it is very, very enticing to go over here. This could cause us a lot of problems. If the reinforcements come in from a bad direction... Do something like this. Hold the low ground. The melee units can stay up here in case we get mobbed. They are pushing towards us. And we will keep cavalry. Most of our cavalry. Let's keep a heavy cavalry unit up here. I believe that's everyone, except the guns that we've now... Something like that. This was really fun, but I was concerned. <laughs> but I was concerned about the enemy reinforcements. But you know what? I know I don't, I don't really care about the enemy, enemy reinforcements. Let's have a slug match. I think it'll be fun up here. So I have sent troops to run to try and secure our infantry line at the very least. The guns will take some time to trawl up here. But I think, yeah, they're going to run around and redeploy and so on, but I think once we've got our guns deployed and start shelling them, they are, they will be forced to uh, 
come and stop us. Or at least attempt to. And if nothing else, this is a really, really sweet artillery position. Yeah, it'll take time to get the guns out. very much worthwhile because they aren't doing anything except just running around and redeploying it will suck up some time but once the battle actually kicks off we should be fine and we get to look at these splendid red coated formations running around which are just my favorite i mean my f the most attractive army for me in this game remains great britain I mean, I just love this bog standard line infantry. It just looks so, so beautiful. Very nice. These guns will be the first. I've angled them to be a bit, to face a bit more towards the town. So if they do push up against this line, they, we've got some artillery support. I'm going to drag this unit just a bit further up so that this unit although we can't really do anything until the great gun gets into position otherwise we may accidentally kill it through friendly fire unlimber fire it will off like I said we don't want to kill any of our great guns I might move my Hindu warriors up here as well. If the enemy do come up here or reinforce behind us, that's a really big problem. Okay, there we go. Fire at will. There we go. As soon as we got our guns into position, they realised they could not stand back. Let's send you guys further down the hill. Again, let's try and actually I, I should really have done done this let's spread our guns out these 12 pounders make ready and fire you will go after the unit of swiss line shells incoming Good hits, good hits. Actually, this gun team might focus on the foot guards. I may even troll one unit. Downhill. Although I should... No, actually, I should do that with more units. This is asking for shrapnel fire. Begging for it. Not quite within range. These, these units will be. Shrapnel shot. Yeah, look at that. This is going to be... Perfect. The great gun can also fire shrapnel shot over the heads of the troops. Slow mo. The shrapnel shot's coming up, coming down on top of them. Killed a few men from the Swiss pikes. It detonated a bit high. Enemy general's bodyguard exposing himself. Ah, oh, blowing great chunks to the formations and like 
stout-hearted Brits. They will continue. Let's cease fire with the muskets. Let the native lancers deal with them. I think you, the grey gun, map fire round shot. I think it's firing too high. I just tr keep trying to fight by a shrapnel shot. The general was the only. Oh no, it, was, it wasn't their actual general, it was just a. God, we are blasting holes through their formation. They're going to break as soon as they get here. devils we might have to have one gun focusing on trying to kill the nearest enemy I knew it I called it called it called it called it destroy this force quickly but carefully okay you killed an enemy general so they definitely came in from here my melee okay they're gonna Where's the, where's the... Okay, actually, are they, they going to come in from this side? Ooh, great gun. Shrapnel shot over... Actually, no, round shot the... Enemy general right at the back. We can mop up these troops down here. Lancers go for the guerrilla mercenaries. Load and fire in your own time. Has bumped into our line. We're starting to hack them to pieces. Okay, where is a Royal Indian Cavalry Guard unit? Push up to here. We are apparently holding off the holding off the pikemen. Our kids are actually doing okay. Let's see, they haven't even technically entered the field yet. Okay, don't kill them. We don't want to kill any units. We just want them to. Break and run. Some 
barrel down the hill straight into the... The gunners are chasing down a unit of guardsmen. Brave but foolish, just like these gunners. And you guys may actually now limber up, which are probably not going to be needed. Let's try and knock out the Swiss line right here. You go up the general. We are going to want to try and create a killing field. Okay, let's bring the guns up. begin to actually create that. Kill the enemy general. Okay, you men, yeah, they're shattered. You guys might just bug out. Actually, get this cavalry unit up to safety. Gunners engage the 46. Go on, make it past the gauntlet. You're doing great, Lancers. You're doing great. Smash into the Irish volunteers. Jack will shout the 58th. So we might have been a bit optimistic with our gunnery positioning. So you, you, and you, peace fire. Blast that area with canister shot. Which you might slightly rotate backwards a little bit. Actually, if you're going to retreat, you're going to retreat right into the middle of them, so no. We can knock out the 86 before they come back. That'd be super. Oh, we have. <laughs> so this. Oh yeah, those are the Swiss pike units. Bring the cavalry back. Put one unit back to fire at them. Those are the other reinforcements. This is the main, the main one to be concerned about. We'll put one another unit. This unit I was going to retreat in the way. So these units halt. Here come the Swiss Grenadiers, going, uh-oh, shouldn't we be shooting yet? Shouldn't we be using our guns yet, fellas? <laughs> I 
take up all of the volleys. Back you go. Reload. Actually, where's my... Yeah, I was going to say Kizilbashi Cavalry. You can get that big, you can fire your guns. Oh, they're in shrapnel range now. Get the great guns shooting at the Swiss pikes to the rear. Oh, they formed up. Big mistake. Great guns. Smash this formation. Miss. We're getting a good number of kills on them before they break, which is nice. They're shattered. I don't think the gunners are going to get to shoot. I think I might just get the guns to attack ground rather than trying to coordinate them, just get them to shoot the same piece of ground over and over again. Brave souls are coming in, even though the rank's getting shredded. They're getting within carbine range. Now they're in musket range. These brave, brave men. So, you, 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 all ceasefire. Pursue them. See, they just can't enter the battlefield in, in enough numbers. One at a time, it's going to be the same again. Now, these guys look like they're probably going to escape, but we're going to get a good number of kills, that's for darn sure. And then if they do escape, or when they escape, at least we'll definitely destroy this regiment of foot. Another pike unit coming in. Yes, we do have tactical units positioned in the event that they break through, but I don't think they will. There we go. So both of your units go after this pike unit. So we're getting a handful of kills from secondary effects just from the canister shot hitting the ground or from hitting me being fired at an area they're shaken already charge if you like and there they go excellent Excellent, excellent. I mean, this kind of feels a bit dirty, but at the same time, I love it. The Swiss Grenadiers are pushing in. I mean, I'm not going to watch them kill all those infantrymen. I am going to... As shots came in, they lost 20 men as soon as they've entered the field. 50 yard, 60 yard, 70, 90, nearly 100. Oh dear, oh dear. Oh yeah, watch out for the stakes. You can kill that guy. Good. Oh, 
the unit of mercenaries. That'll be another unit for my cavalry to gun down. Now the gunners have changed targets. I mean, it looks like they all missed. the Swiss pikes. I mean, everyone's ammunition state looks okay. We get some free kills. Excellent, you men. Peace fire, let the cavalry wipe them out. There goes even more Swiss pikes. 110-ish. That's my some of my um, horse crews and some of my gun teams rather uh, the horses that pull the limbers there yeah, they retreated oh they've only just entered the field and they've lost so many men <laughs> I think it was mean but it's so damn efficient. I mean, just this. Every time they march in, they have to march in over a heap of dead, <laughs> dead British bodies, British and Irish bodies. <laughs> oh, here comes the Black Watch. There we go, everyone's done. I do love the Black Watch. They're a good looking unit. But they have to walk through the same maelstrom. It looks like they might avoid the initial artillery fire though. Well, no, not entirely. Lots of gunfire. We've lost a lot by the volley and then they've run. Shafted. They lost more than a hundred men. More Swiss pikes. I love Swiss pikes. I did have one chap commenting saying to get rid of my pikes and I always I said no I love pikemen. I mean especially Swiss pikes because they're just more protected than regular pikes. Oh they're charging. Brave souls, can't deny that. They've just got a musket and they're going straight for the straight for the line. Doesn't matter though. Who's ah oh, Swiss mountain jäger? Skirmishes, the first light foot. That's pretty impressive. The first light foot was the Swiss mountain jäger. Sounds like. The first unit got destroyed, then they recruited Jaeger, and they still got a bunch of light infantry everywhere. Oh yeah, so the sounds for lots of the Jaegers, they've never worked. It's always been that... <laughs> oh, so many. Guardsmen, 20th foot guards. Yeah, my two gun crews that have been attacking ground constantly have just got so many kills. They're wavering and they've not lost a man. They're just concerned about what's going on in general. Oh yeah, they did not stick around. Close, close victory! Did you even see, did we even see the same battle? Close, close! That was just... They got obliterated. <laughs> Ireland is ours. Let's destroy... Actually, what's our... How unhappy are they? Not very. Okay, if we... Build this, destroy this, re repair that. 
and replenish these guys. We'll be in a pretty good place to start converting Dublin to Islam. Lots of good units here. Right, uh, yes. Iceland, forgot about you. Uh, because we're quite close to the end of the episode, let's take Iceland. Let's just capture it, and worst come to the worst, this army can be uh, redeployed towards the British Isles for additional destruction. Get cracking. So get set the guns up. I mean, this is going to be this is going to be deliberately a slaughter fest. They do not have the numbers to stop us from just overwhelming them everywhere. And occasionally, I quite like a bit of slaughter. Smash a hole in the wall. You men get up on the walls. Swarm, swarm, swarm. The guns, all the guns have to do is just make a breach, and then my Islamic swordsmen will swarm through. You may have mortars, but who do you shoot? There's too many to pick. I suspect it would be interesting. Oh, these guys are probably the first ones to get in. Volley. You're sending men over to defend. You don't even have bayonets. Dear, 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 dear. You don't even have orders. This maybe not going to go too much further. We still need to. Good men been killed from the war collapsing. Let's make our breach before we run too close, otherwise, our men will get slaughtered by musket fire. Grappling hooks away! Scale the walls. Okay, seventy per cent. Let's walk. We can time this right, we can get it so that the walls destroy just as we rock up. One more shot from something will do it. Come on, try and stop us. Reaching. There's 
no one there to stop us and we're already going to start pouring through the breach. These men can run here to block these men from coming down here. We've taken the buildings out. Give these men orders just to run in. The, the gate is very safe. They want to run through the gate they can. Swarm the gate. Or well, swarm the, the square. Give you how to give let's give these men targets. is causing upset. Hold. Hold. How about them? Get these Hindu musketeers in. Unsurprisingly, they do not like these arts. <laughs> so who's that it's upset? More to garrison units upset. That is unsurprising. It's in my Islamic swordsman to hack down the general bodyguard. This unit go to work on the 4th Regiment of Foot. It's a unit of swordsmen out of the fight to go attack the 1st Regiment of Infantry, lest they try and stop us. You men hold off the garrison line. Where's my general? Hey, you're not going anywhere, sonny boy. Kill the last of these mortar men. Only three of them left. Yeah, yeah, we killed the enemy general. Elephants are throwing around the line of like rag dolls. The swordsmen are coming in and killing them. Men on the walls fighting bravely. They won't hold us off. Center. Where's my light horse? There we go. Bulk of these men have all retreated. It's only this cluster here. So let's meet them at the bottom of the stairs. Everyone get ready.
here they come. First unit that is down to 100 men and is upset. This unit is down to 152 and is also very upset. You were never going to hold. It was foolish to think so. Hey. Go get him, swordsman. Push up the steps from behind. Oh, there they go as well. Could have got some good kills, but nevertheless, Iceland, or Denmark itself rather, is destroyed and Iceland is captured. Yoink. So you chaps get replenishing. Yeah, just max upgrade whatever you got. Not that it's going to be a problem. Let's just build some sloops to occupy the ports. Nice. Right, continuing that theme, we have fights in Charleston. We have a fight here in Teleco. So if we take that out, that's New Spain destroyed. I mean, we've got a lot of fights to do. Up at Agbituk, Ag Charleston, uh, Teleco, and Bella de Bexa, or Beha. It looks like they're going to attack us next turn, but let's, let's go on the offensive. We've got a number of battles to fight, so let's just do them. But looking at the timer, I believe it's time for the next... I believe that will be for the next episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've, enjoy, hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the destruction of the Pueblo Nation's capital in Texas. Cheers, everyone.